and welcome to another card making video Camilla here and first of all I would like to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers I'm very glad you found your way to my channel welcome today I would like to show you how you can use your card making skills to create some awesome bookmarks with and without a tassel and at this point I would also like to take a moment and say thank you to Fern who I collaborated with last time she's a great friend very talented crafter and thanks to her, many of you new subbies found your way to my channel. Thank you, Fern, and I'll link her YouTube channel down below. And make sure you go and check it out. So, let's get started. Sorry for the long intro. So, as you can see, I cut out uh, three panels from a uh, watercolor paper. And I'll be using three stamp sets by Lone Palm, Flutter By, the, that's the first one I'm using, then Love You a Latte, and then Dreams. I'm stamping out all the images using my favorite things, uh, hybrid ink, which is a half pigment, half dye ink. It dries pretty fast, but you can add embossing powder on there if you're quick enough. But if you really want to do heat embossing, I would suggest you would use a Versa, Versa Fine ink, which is a pigment ink, but it dries pretty fast. But not fast enough, uh, so you can still do your embossing. It also works really well with watercoloring. So first of all, just to let you know, I am using watercolor paper and this one I'm using is by Canson. It is uh, kind of heavyweight, uh, as far as I remember it's uh, 240 GSM because I'll be doing some watercoloring. So um, as you see on the screen, I stamped out all my images and now for the first bookmark I'll be using uh, Stabilo or Stabilo pens uh, to color in these uh, gorgeous butterflies. So what I do here is first I layer my colors in kind of stripes and then I go over them using my paintbrush and water to blend in the colors. I really love these vibrant uh, pens. I think they give beautiful uh, effect and I think you should definitely try it out. They're not expensive so it's a nice alternative to like Copics or, or alcohol markers. Uh, just to try it out and also I recently um, was informed by one of the subscribers that these are very good for kids because uh, even uh, when left without the, uh, the cap uh, they don't dry out so that's a cool tip thanks a lot CC main and as you can see you can always go back uh, to your pigment you can take a pen uh, scribble on uh, your acrylic block and pick up some of that pigment and go over your image once again to add color so even after you added water and maybe turned out too bright you can always go back and add um, saturation I tried to make this video uh, not so long even though I'm showing three different uh, bookmarks so I sped up this um, coloring uh, a, quite a lot I hope you don't mind I, I hope you still can see uh, the blending effect and just let me know if, if there's something you would like me to change in, in my editing And if you have any questions about these uh, Stabilo pens or the colors I used, uh, I'll try to list them in the description below uh, so that you can uh, see in case you would like to uh, buy some colors to know which combinations go together. And uh, if there's any other questions you have, uh, just please write them in the comment section below.
And for the next bookmark, i am be using Pro Markers to color in this gorgeous lawn foam uh, tea and coffee and hot chocolate cups. Uh, once again, I sped it up pretty much uh, twice as uh, as twice as fast as as uh, normal. And I hope you can see. I mean, you've seen me color using these markers and even the similar images a few times before, so I didn't want to bore you. I hope you can see the effect, and I will list the colors in the description below. And for the last bookmark, I will be using Distress Inks as watercolor. Uh, so here I'm using uh, Festive Berries, Spiced Marmalade and Mustard Seed uh, to color in those beautiful feathers by Lawn Palm. And I'm using this um, water brush. Uh, I like to control my water so I don't fill it up with uh, water, but I have a little glass filled with water on the side and that way I can control the amount of water I have on the brush while I'm mixing the inks and I really really love the vibrancy and the, the colors of the stress inks you probably uh, already noticed if you're a follower on my youtube channel that I love colorful cards and uh, I just think that you know since uh, we usually make cards for birthdays or happy events uh, the colors should be happy and vibrant, so if you also like it and this is the first time you're viewing uh, my video, subscribe! So here I'm using Dusty Concord, uh, Seedless preser Preserves and uh, Picked Raspberry for the kind of a uh, purple-pink uh, feather. Now for the blues, I'm using chipped sapphire, salty ocean and tumbled glass. And just like uh, with the Stabilo pens, you can uh, come back with a pigment to add color to your uh, blended image. And 
And now for the greens I'm using Evergreen Bow, uh, Mauled Lawn and Shabby Shutters. And here is a little comparison, on the left uh, Distress Ink watercolor and on the right regular Stabilo pants without water. I think both have really gorgeous colors, uh, Stabilo pants may be a little more vibrant. And now I'm gonna put this colorful cardstock at the back of each one of these bookmarks to make them a little uh, more stiff. And then I'm gonna show you how to make cool tassels. So first I'm gonna make uh, holes on two of the, the bookmarks that I made using this puncher and on, I'm gonna use embroidery uh, floss of thread to make tassels and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I hope the video is kind of self-explanatory. Basically what you have to do is right now you're gonna take one of the colors uh, that you will need but you know me, even though it's self-explanatory, I have to tell you what to do simply because I want you to really know what to do. So uh, first of all, you're gonna take a, a long piece of your embroidery uh, thread. You're gonna hold it with your thumb and your index finger and then you're gonna wrap the thread around your middle and index finger about 15 maybe 17 times depending how thick you want the tassel to be. Now you're gonna cut uh, the excess but leave a, a long ed, uh, end and that end you will wrap around the top part of your um, collected thread. You also can wrap it around make loops and uh, tighten it it's very important that it's very tight so that later on it won't just uh, open up on somebody <laughs> and then you are going to cut through all the bottom loops to create the tassel Now that your tassel is ready, you take uh, a little more of your thread and uh, you loop it through your hole or holes. In this case, I have two. Uh, so you just put it through both of them, but do not tie it up into a knot yet. Uh, now you're gonna take a, a big uh, needle and you're gonna thread the needle and then go through top part of your tassel. Now when the needle is through, uh, just tie a knot at the end of the um, leftover thread you have and then put that little knot inside of the uh, loops you have there at the top of your tassel. That way you can kind of hide the little knot. And then I did the same thing for the other bookmark, but the third one I decided to not make a tassel, but instead make a incision <laughs> in my bookmark uh, so I can hook it over a page in a book. And I'll demonstrate after I've cut it. Mm -hmm. 
and that's how you use it in a book. Easy, right? I always was a fan of easy solutions. <laughs> And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, new kind of tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please write them in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Welcome all the new subscribers. And see you again soon with a new collaboration video. Bye!